Hey folks, hope you're having a great Saturday wherever you are. I wanted to jump on and finish the book. I've been giving an overview of my book that came out last August, Sitting with God, A Journey to Your True Self Through Center and Prayer. And I've been giving uh, audio, uh, videos, Facebook Lives. I, I, the first one I did was an overview of the book, and then I've been going chapter by chapter. So today we are on chapter 12. Just two more to go after this. So chapter 12 is the mystery and paradox of Jesus. So what do I talk about in this chapter? Just touch on a few things. You know, I talk about what I, the Jesus paradox, and I borrowed that from Amos Smith, who in his book, Healing the Divide, Recovering Christianity's Mystic Roots, talks about Jesus as the Jesus paradox. And what he means is Jesus is at once God and human. And what does that mean? And, and I talk about that in this chapter, that it is a paradox. And at what, you know, he's not God, just God, and he's not just human, he's both. And what does that mean? And when do we know if his actions are human actions? And when do we know if his actions are uh, the actions of God. So it, it's really just a paradox. So I talk a lot about the Jesus paradox and, and what does it mean that Jesus is at once God and human? And what does that mean to me? Because I'm a paradox and you're a paradox. You are uh, human, but we're not God, but there's divinity within us. The image of God is in each of us. And what does that mean uh, for us? We are divine beings, I'll call it with a little d, with the image of God within us, and we are human. And I believe my human actions are best when I connect to this inner image of God within, and I do it with my centering prayer practice. When I sit in silence and open to the presence and actions of God within, I connect to God, I connect to my true self, I connect to my inner divinity, and then I get up from my silent sits and take my human actions. So the two, the two are always combined, and, and I need both. I need to connect to my inner image of God within, my true self within, so that I can have the best human actions in this world, is how I look at it. So I talk about the Jesus paradox. I talk about me being a paradox. I talk about, you know, the fruits of centering prayer are, are really a paradox. We, you know, we enter centering prayer simply because we love God and we want to sit with God and we want to see how God transforms us. Um, but God has other plans. God blesses us with what we need. So not what uh, you think you need. We're blessed with what God knows we need for our human actions in this world. And that's what happens during centering prayer. Uh, we let grace flow through us and out into the world. And I also talk about, you know, life is a paradox. You know, I think about my own um, work life. I started off as an individual contributor at, at a large financial services firm. And then I became the manager and did that for 10 years. And then I realized I was best happy as an individual contributor, not managing people. So I wasn't, I'm not unhappy for the experience that I had, but life is a paradox because I started as an individual contributor, managed people for 10 years, and then kind of made my way back home as an individual contributor, realizing that that's, I think that's my true self, my true, truer home is a, an individual contributor. So I talk about you know these types of topics in this chapter, uh, paradox. So and at the end of this chapter, I have some questions. So maybe I'll touch on a few of them that I posted here. You know, what does it mean to you when Jesus is referred to as, as at once God and human? For me, you know, I, I think it's it's a beautiful thing. It's it means God chose two thousand years ago to incarnate in human form and live with us and experience what it was like to be a human. And I think that's a spectacular event and an exciting event um, that happened 2,000 years ago. Um, 
I'll go to number four. Do you believe that you are made in the image of God and at the same time, time are a human? What does it mean for you to be both divine and human? No, I definitely believe it. I, I don't believe I'm God by any means at all, and I'm not here to tell you that. But I do believe that I am definitely a human being in this world. But I also believe that there's divinity within me. God is within me. The Holy Spirit is within me. And I'm connecting to this during my centering prayer. I need to connect to this because I need these I need to connect to it and take these actions into the world. So every day I sit twice a day in the silence of centering prayer and I reconnect to my true self, to the person God wants me to be, and I take these actions into the world. So I, I need my centering prayer sits. I need this time. And I'll just do one more question. Are you comfortable with just not knowing? I am. I mean, the, the, the Jesus paradox, Jesus being God and human, is a paradox. What does that really mean? Uh, the Holy Trinity, you know, the Trinity is, is a paradox. Uh, you know, I'm told as I read some Centering Prayer books that the Trinity uh, is acting within me. And what does that really mean? There, we have God, we have Jesus, and we have the Holy Spirit, uh, Holy Spirit acting within me. And what does that really mean? I don't know, but I'm going to just let go and open to what that might mean during my centering prayer sit. So I'm okay with that. So centering prayer has taught me just to be more open to life and to things that I don't understand. That will become hopefully and perhaps more clear in time and, 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 and over time. So that's all. I just wanted to pop on talk about chapter 12. It's been quite a while since I did a video on the book. Talk about chapter 12, answer some of the questions that I have at the, at the end of that chapter. So I'm excited. I only have two more chapters to do and I've done a kind of a complete overview of the book. So I'll be doing chapter 13 in the near future and then the last chapter 14 and I'll, then I'll be done and excited that I went through each chapter of the book and just shared a little bit about it and answered a couple of the questions at the end of each chapter. So again, I appreciate everybody that is reading the book now. I appreciate all the people that have read it. I really appreciate the interaction. If you have questions about the book or comments, please, please reach out to me. I enjoy interaction, whether it's on Facebook Messenger or whether it's via email or whether it's via my contact form on my page reach out to me. I love the interaction. It's just been a whole, whole lot of fun. So keep it coming. Um, much love to all of you. And I hope uh, everybody has a great Saturday wherever you are. Take care, everybody.